And God said to me, here's the problem. You guys in the church can be so hypocritical. He said, in the African-American church, you really got to be careful. I said, what do you mean? He said, because you are guilty of condemning the Supreme Court system and preaching against something. But if you look at half of our choirs, and a great number of our artists that we call abominations and we call demons, we demonize and dehumanize the same people that we use and we don't say nothing about the gay choir director because he's good for business. As long as the choir sound good, I ain't saying nothing about his sexuality. We have done what the slave master did to us, dehumanize us, uh, degrade us, demonize us, but then use them for our advantage. It's hypocritical to talk about the Supreme Court and calling them Sodom and Gomorrah, which is not what it's all about. But if that's the case, half our churches have been Sodom and Gomorrah for a hundred years. He told me, boy, you got to re-examine yourself. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, on one hand, you quote homosexuality is an abomination from Leviticus. But you say that right after you ate some shrimp, some catfish, and some lobster. You quote Leviticus while you're wearing a wool blend suit. It's also in Leviticus that you shouldn't wear mixed linens. It's in Leviticus that if your wife is on her cycle, that you shouldn't go in the same house with her or even sleep on the same bed with her. That's in Leviticus too. Here's my point. We pick and choose the scriptures that we want to use to beat folk up with rather than look at our own lives. Let me tell you something. If God wanted to judge America, he wouldn't need the Supreme Court system. If he wanted to judge America because of sin, he would judge me in 88 at the Freaknik in Atlanta. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I don't condemn you. I don't judge you. I'm going to preach Christ to you. Because you can't evangelize and antagonize at the same time. You cannot insult and inspire the same people that you insult. I thank God that Jesus went to Samaria with a woman who had some sexual identity problems and didn't preach condemnation, he just preached Christ. And our greatest missionary opportunity is gonna be finding those who may be struggling to say, I'm not better than you, but the same grace that saved me, the same blood that let me come is the same blood that you're gonna need. What are we going to do about the people who've been born this way? Who've been struggling with something? What about the people that we think are nasty? These folks are abomination. They're nasty. Tell you what you do then. Go find every song that's been written by a gay person for the last hundred years and don't sing it in church. Let's see how many songs you can minister on that Sunday. Bishop, don't tell me what the Bible says about homosexuals and you change wives like we change underwear. Sit yourself, your hypocritical self down. We all got to look at ourselves. We all need Jesus.